as you are probably well aware, I don't support Trump, and I hope Biden is the one who actually wins. But it's not actually official that Biden has won. Media doesn't decide the presidency. Besides a number of potential voter fraud scenarios, and some of the places where Biden won were only by a small fraction of a percentage point, and considering that some of the groups of people who were doing the counting were certainly not neutral, like a number of union workers where the unions officially supported Biden, and the fact that the electoral college electors in each state don't officially vote until December 14th, we have Mike Pompeo saying the following. Is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. I went through a transition on the front, and I've, I've been on the other side of this. I'm very confident that we will uh, do all the things that are necessary to make sure that the, the government, the United States government, will continue to perform its national security function as we go forward. So you believe there's widespread voter fraud, that the reports that we're getting from Pennsylvania, from Michigan, showing vote totals and massive leads or significant leads with 99% reporting are going to be overturned and that the United States failed to conduct a fraudulent free election? Rich, I'm the Secretary of State. I'm getting calls from all across the world. These people are watching our election. They understand that we have a legal process. They understand that this takes time. Right, it took us 37 plus days in an election back in 2000. We conducted a successful transition then. I'm very confident that we will count, and we must count every legal vote. We must make sure that any vote that wasn't lawful ought not be counted. That dilutes your vote if it's done improperly. We've got to get that right. When we get it right, we'll get it right. We're, 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 we're in good shape. Now, I do think that we need to go through these processes, and I certainly hope there wasn't enough election fraud that it changes the results of the election. You know, either way, we need to go through this so people on the other side can't say, oh, this was a fake election, right? We need to let them go through what they need to go through. You know, if, if it is found that there was a lot of election fraud and that Trump actually won, well, I'll be very disappointed, but I'm not going to lose faith in the system. Let's just hope for the best outcomes, right?